seen some amazing athletes play at the varsity level of various sports each season. It's not often that one kid can tackle the challenge of competing in two different sports at once. Yeah, Fox Wilson and Kroenke has our high school spotlight with a senior girl from Glencoe who apparently just can't get enough. What my dad always says is I'm kind of a burn my own path kind of gal. A tide never stops crashing. Phoebe Redslap at the Crimson Tide never stops kicking. I was the kicker for Powder Puff, and so they were all, you could kick for the football team if you want, you could go talk to coach. And I was like, really? Really, really, seek it and be it. No matter who you are, try new things. That's, that's like my main thing, do it, just do it. Phoebe booted her way into the Glencoe record books as the first female to score in a varsity game by drilling five point after tries in her starting debut under the guidance of Glencoe head coach Ian Reynoso who played offensive guard at Oregon for the Ducks 2001 to 05. Something that Coach Reynoso has like driven into us is that not only are we teammates, not only are we peers, not only are we friends for some of us, we're a family as the football team. Accepting all as they are. When we do like our pregame chants or when they say like, normally you say they say brothers, but they started saying brothers and sisters. It's so heartwarming to realize that they'd are changing the vocabulary that they use to include me in it. Phoebe's after school special Monday through Friday is football to football, bouncing from one turnout to the next while sharing time and goal with her best friend, Kylie Schroll, as her kid sister, freshman Jill Retzloff, leads the Glencoe soccer team in goals scored. It's really fun because she's a striker and I'm a goalie, so have some fun playing against each other. The 17 year old Jack Ball is also an artist selling her homemade jewelry at the Hillsboro Market. My grandma taught me how to knit. My nana taught me how to sew. It's more of a therapy, like, pastime kind of thing. It's just something I really enjoy, and it's something that other people like what I make, so I just started selling it. The kid is buying up all this precious dual sport time during senior year after being limited to not much after surgery for scoliosis at 13. One of the best things in life is that we're all given opportunities to try to do new things and I have the most amazing team, the most amazing family, and the most amazing soccer team and football team. And that was all because of a couple people saying, hey, you should try this. Well, that's a pretty remarkable young lady there. Is there anything she can't do? Oh, she kicks for the football team, she's a goalkeeper, and she makes jewelry. If you have an athlete who deserves some time to shine in our high school spotlight, uh, hey, just contact Nick. Those are his social media accounts right there. He'd love to hear from you. And later tonight, we have week four of Friday Night Lights. Nick and the Fox 12 team will have your highlights, scores, and more all around the region starting at 1030 right after the 10 o'clock news. Always a good